The Dolby Atmos demo session included in Pro Tools can help you to understand how to structure and work with an Atmos mixing project using the internal Dolby Atmos renderer introduced in the 2023.12 release. To load the session, open the Pro Tools dashboard, switch to the Getting Started tab and click on Open Dolby Atmos Demo. Pro Tools will tell you that the session requires the Dolby Atmos renderer and asks if you'd like to enable it. Click Yes. Without any further configuration, the Atmos renderer in Pro Tools will play back the session via your default monitor path. In this video, we'll show you how to listen to the Atmos demo in headphones. If you have a full Atmos speaker setup, please refer to our detailed Dolby Atmos internal renderer video. Open the I.O. settings from the Setup menu. In the Outputs tab, make sure that the monitor path is assigned to the output path that feeds your headphones. The Atmos internal renderer automatically routes its output to this path. Now click the Dolby Atmos tab and check that the internal renderer is selected. The path configuration in this tab is recalled with the session, so you shouldn't need to change anything here. The demo session uses the default Dolby Atmos configuration of one 712 bed plus stereo objects with no groups and all paths set to the mid binaural mode. Click OK to save your changes, then open the Dolby Atmos renderer window. You can now choose your monitoring format from the menu in the top bar. This shows your default monitor path and any down mix options, which you can switch between at any time. In this case, we've chosen only a stereo monitor path, so our choices are 2.0 and binaural. Choose binaural. In binaural mode, the Atmos renderer generates a headphone output that simulates the three-dimensional experience of listening in a multi-speaker spatial environment. The Atmos demo session has tracks divided into a number of folders. You can open the folders to see the individual tracks and see how they are rooted. With the Atmos renderer active, tracks have an additional object section next to the I.O. selectors. Tracks can be routed to Atmos beds from the standard output selector and to object paths from the object selector. Notice that some tracks are assigned to both and can be switched in real time between the two. The Atmos renderer window provides a visual representation of activity in the bed and object channels and the 3D positions of the objects. Let's look at a couple of interesting creative choices in this mix. The main drum elements here, kick and claps, are rooted to the bed. However, they can still be panned in interesting spatial ways. The kick is placed centrally, which you can see results in the sound coming equally from left and right sides and has a different result from a front central position. In headphones, the kick sounds like it's inside your head. The claps have been placed above the listener with one set behind. Now let's check out these synth plucks. They've been set as an object with an automated pan that follows a figure of eight path around the listener. This track has a send to delay and reverb effects. And the stereo output of these has also been panned as objects with their own movement. Take some time to explore the demo session to get more ideas for ways to use the Atmos format creatively. And make sure to check out our other videos and articles about mixing in Atmos at avid.com.